The Royal Navy today enters the age of the Type 31 as work began on HMS Venture, the first of five ships at the fulcrum of the future fleet. Defense Secretary Ben Wallace set the cutters at work on steel for the lead ship in the Inspiration class in a brand new assembly hall in Razath. In just two years his time venturer will be in the water. In seven she'll be joined by sisters Active, Bulldog, Campbelltown, and Formidable. With work underway on Venture, named after the WW2 submarine which made history by torpedoing a U-boat while both were submerged, it means Britain's shipyards are producing two new classes of frigate for the frontline fleet for the first time in more than 30 years. Just three dozen miles away in Govan, the first three Type 26 frigates, led by HMS Glasgow, are taking shape. They will replace the souped-up submarine hunting Type 23s coming to the end of their active lives over the next 15 years, while Venturer and her four sisters will succeed the General Duty 23s, such as HMS Montrose. As such they will be expected to perform duties around the globe as varied as those backbone ships, submarine detection, interception, and disruption of illegal activity at sea, intelligence gathering, defense engagement and providing humanitarian support. Each of the inspiration class, so called because either their deeds, or the ingenuity of their designers, are milestones in RN history, will be equipped with the Sea Scepter Air Defense Missile System, a 57mm main gun and two 40mm Bofors, a 4D radar, and carry a helicopter up to Merlin size. They will also be able to carry the planned persistent operational delivery systems, or pods which are at the heart of future Royal Navy operations, a plug-and-play box of tricks carrying drones, autonomous mini-hinting equipment, a command center for commando raiders or humanitarian aid, whatever is needed for a particular mission, all packed into a container-sized box which is easy to deploy and install. This is an exciting time for the Royal Navy. The Type 31 represents the very best of British shipbuilding, and with its modular design, will be configurable to meet the needs of both the Royal Navy and our allies around the world, now and into the future," said 2nd Sea Lord Vice Admiral Nick Hine. Type 31s will operate across the globe with sustained forward presence further signifying our intent of being a global navy and the foremost naval power in Europe. All five Inspiration class ships are being built by Babcock for £250 million apiece, with the program supporting 1,250 existing jobs on the fourth, a similar number in the supply chain throughout the UK, and will create 150 new apprenticeships. Having toured the new facility at Frozen, Mr. Wallace said Venture offered a glimpse of the future Royal Navy. These frigates will form the fulcrum of a formidable future force made up of destroyers, new autonomous mine hunting capability, new fleet solid support ships, multi role ocean surveillance and bay class support ships, next generation nuclear submarines, and our two magnificent carriers. HMS Venture is scheduled to be structurally completed and in the water by 2023. All five Type 31s are planned to be delivered to the RN by 2028 with the final ship, operational by 2030. The design work has progressed well, but the project is now entering the most challenging phase, promising to build major warships more rapidly than anything attempted in the UK for several decades. The newly constructed assembly hall will be named the Venturer Building after the lead ship of the program. The 147 meters x 62 meters x 42 meters structure has space for two Type 31 frigates to be assembled in parallel and is part of a recent £60 million investment in the facilities in Raza. A further £100 million was spent over the last decade, primarily to support the construction of the aircraft carriers.
Type 31 has provided an opportunity to install new advanced new manufacturing equipment including panel lines with robotic welding capability, as well as other semi-automated machines at the site. Digital shipyard technology enabling a rapid design to manufacture process should create significant efficiencies in the build schedule. The steel cutting ceremony comes just one week after Babcock announced that it had secured the first export contract for its Arrowhead 140 frigate through a design license agreement with PT PAL Indonesia, Persero, for two frigates. Known as the Inspiration class, the five Type 31s all take their names from former warships and submarines whose missions and history are intended to inspire. The ships are called HMS Venturer, HMS Active, HMS Bulldog, HMS Campbelltown and HMS Formidable. Around 1,250 people will be employed on the program at its height, including 150 apprenticeships and a further 1,250 in the supply chain.